We're going to the guts tour. We're leaving to go to the bar. Hello everybody, it's Karen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down there so that you do not miss out on all of my brand new content every single week. Guys, today we are going to be going to Olivia Rodrigo's Guts World Tour show in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I am so, so beyond excited. I bought these tickets in like September or October, so it's been a very, very long time, and we've been like anxiously waiting for this day, and now it's officially March 2nd. I'm going to be taking you guys along with me for the concert, because obviously, why not? Like, I need to vlog these amazing memories. So right now, it's about 1.20 p.m., and we are going to aim to leave. It's me and my best friend that are going, so we're going to aim to leave at a around 4 p.m. so that we can be there for around 5 to get our merch, take pictures, vlog, check everything out because the doors open at 6 30 so we would have about an hour and a half to get all that done. We don't know how the crowds are going to be or the traffic so we just want to make sure that we have enough time to do everything. So I'm going to start off the day by doing my makeup and then let me show you guys my outfit. So I have a purple corset. This is from Urban Outfitters and then I have this black leather jacket from Shein. This is also from Shein. My pleated skirt but my sister added some rhinestones on it just to spice it up and make it look a little bit more girly. I had these black shoes from Shein. I don't know how to describe them. They're like a platform wedge, but she wears shoes just like that, so that's what inspired me to get them. And then we have some butterfly black socks, super cute, and then rhinestone black fishnets, which honestly like really complete the look. I'm so glad I ended up going with the fishnets. And then over here we have a lot of like makeup and accessory type things. We have these stick-on earrings, but we're going to use them as like face gems to put on like the edge of our eyes once we're done with our eye makeup. And then I have some purple eyeshadow here. These are my silver earrings, also from from Shein. I have some butterfly clips from Amazon. These are from Shein, but they only came with like two purple ones. So my best friend ordered some more and we split them in half so we could have more purple ones. And then in here, I have my necklace. This is from Shein. It's like supposed to be the one that she wears in the Bad Idea Right music video. And then we have a bunch of like bracelets that I'm going to wear. Maybe people will trade. I don't know. But then we have also my guts rings in here. They're just from Amazon, like the super cheap ones. But yeah, I think that's everything. I'm going to start doing my makeup and I have to film a lot of stuff so I'm gonna try to keep you guys updated because I want to like have this as like a full memory of the entire day of today okay so I'm starting my makeup now I just I'm doing like my skincare before I actually start um hopefully this doesn't take me any more than 45 minutes I was gonna do like extravagant eye makeup but I really tried to simplify it just so it doesn't look horrible because I'm not the best at eye makeup. So I'm just gonna do like purple eyeshadow. I'm gonna put some white eyeliner in my waterline and then I'm going to do like an inner corner highlight and then obviously the face gems on the edge of my eyes. Because the other day my best friend and I, we went over to her house and we tested out our makeup looks and what we wanted to do. So I kind of got like a good idea of what I wanted, which is honestly really smart. Like if you're going to a concert, any sort of concert and you wanna do really cool makeup, try to like plan a night where you can like plan it all out and make sure you have everything prepared just so you're not like running around on the like day of the actual concert. I'm gonna put on some of the bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant and mix it with my moisturizer. Um, I self tanned last night for like the first time ever. I don't self tan. I have to make sure that my face matches the rest of my body because I've tanned everything but my face because like I didn't want it to look bad. I'd never really normally do this. So I'm just gonna use my bronzing drops and I think that'll add the right amount of tan to my face because they always seem to do that. I really love the bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. And then after that, I'm gonna do some foundation, um, just like all my base and boring makeup. And then I'm gonna start getting to like the fun part. I'm not gonna like label it as fun because it's also kind of stressful because that's your makeup look. But I do have not a lot of time, but if I really absolutely needed to, I do have some time to like take off something and restart. I'm kind of excited. I'm also kind of nervous because we have a lot to like get done and I hope everything just like goes well. I also want to film and get ready with me on my phone, so I'm trying to like figure out when to do that, but I also want to listen to music, so there's just a lot going on right now. Yeah, I'm going to continue to do my makeup. I'll probably update you when I'm further along in my look and not doing like this boring base stuff. I just finished our makeup. It looks kind of like dewy right now. I promise it's going to set, but I did purple eyeshadow on white under eye and inner highlight. It took me like 45 minutes. 50 minutes, so now I need to hurry up and start getting dressed and do my hair.
So you can kind of see what I'm attempting to do. It's like a braid and then into these little butterfly clips. I think I'm gonna do two on each side and then I'm gonna recurl the other ends, like touch it up. My sister's touching up my hair now and um, I'm, I know it looks like ringlets right now, but it's gonna fall, obviously. I curled it last night and it didn't hold at all. So it's 2.46, we're gonna aim to leave it at four. I'm rushing to get dressed right now. I have on my corset, my skirt, my tights. My sister's helping me put on my shoes because the buckles are really hard. And my butterfly stickers are falling off, so I had to switch to a silver on the side and then a purple on the side. I'm all ready, and now we're leaving to go to the concert. that you can't bring any cameras in the arena so I had to give my parents my cameras. Now I'm recording on my phone so the quality is a little different but it's okay it's better than nothing. We were standing in line to get an actual stadium and not the merch line. We thought you couldn't get merch till 6 30 but we were standing like dummies so now we're gonna go get some merch and we made friends with the people behind us in line and they said they would hold our spot which is literally so so sweet. It felt like we Hold me in your sweat I thought we'd always be Got her shirt. I got the Guts World Tour one. I'll pop up a picture of it, and it has all the song lyrics on the back. And she got the Guts World Tour one with all the dates on the back. And we could have done that since we got here, but we didn't know about it. We moved to the barricades, and now we're waiting in line at barricades. We have about like an hour until they let us in, and then we took some pictures. But we're gonna try to take more from 6:30 to 7:30. About to be let in. We've been waiting here for an hour and a half, and it is 6:30, and I'm sure they're gonna open the door any second now. Oh oh like we just got in. It's hectic. It's crazy. We're gonna try to take a picture.
Did you think you were going to be this exhausting? No. I feel like I got hit by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we have to wait for my mom to pick me up. It is so much later now. It's actually 3 in the morning. I think the last time I updated you was at around 10.50 ish. Basically the concert ended. It was so 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 much fun. I had some problems with like storage space on my phone. Like my phone ran out of actual storage halfway through the show so I had to hurry up and go delete some things off of my phone to get a little bit more storage but I also was saving things to my snap memories because for some reason that was working. So I'm gonna like download the video straight from snapchat and add them into this video to show you guys a little bit more of the actual content. I did get to record a lot, but I don't know how it's gonna like go whenever I go in and edit this video and what it's gonna all end up looking like, but I did still record like probably majority of the concert. I tried to get a little bit of each song. I may have skipped one or two songs, but guys, it was literally so much fun. It's three in the morning. I've been home since midnight and I just don't want to take off my rings or like my friendship bracelets that we all traded. It was so much fun, guys. Like genuinely, if you are contemplating going to the Guts tour, I would 100% out of 10 recommend that you go it was an absolute blast and like the best night ever but anyway what i was gonna say is that after the concert ended we had some trouble like finding my mom and dad because like there was so, there was so much traffic around like the stadium where the concert was at it took like 20 minutes to find them so we finally found them we got in the car i went and dropped brooke off and then i came home and i looked through all of my concert videos and i heard myself singing in a lot of them so tomorrow on sunday i have a lot to do for school but i'm gonna try to edit this video and like reminisce on tonight. Do you like my shirt? It says Guts World Tour and then the back it has all of the songs and it has like a different picture of Olivia for each song. It's like themed for every single one and I absolutely love that and I wish that I could relive this night over and over again. So with that, I think I'm going to wrap up this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for the Guts World Tour New Orleans. I'm kind of in my concert era. I want to go to so much more. I'm like waiting for the day that Billie Eilish announces her concert. Well, that's going to be a long time, but once she announces like her album and then her concert, I'm dying to go to a Billie Eilish concert. But until then, this concert was amazing. I love you guys all so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like this video. Bye. Oh, you got me stuck.